Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the question, what is a binomial? This is a term you're probably going to hear a lot in algebra classes, algebra one, algebra two, and probably even going to come up in geometry. I doubt you'll ever take a math class that you don't hear this word in. So it's important we understand what it means. Now to dive into that, I'm going to take a look at this word and look at its two different parts. It's two roots, or whatever it would be called. Hey, I'm not an English teacher. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take a look at this. You see, it's made up of the root word by and the word nomial. So what do each of these mean? Well, by means two, and nomial means term. Now, we know in math, the word term means a number or a variable or something like that, right? So the word binomial quite literally translates to two terms, a two-part expression. That's exactly what it is, an expression that signifies the sum or the difference, so addition or subtraction, of two different terms. I'm going to write the sum difference thing on here too, because uh, that is a very important thing to know. A binomial must be a sum or difference expression. In binomials, we do not see multiplication, division, nothing like that. So let's write an example. We need two terms, so we need two numbers or variables or something. Now, it's important that these two terms are different, not just in the sense that we shouldn't have one be x and the other one be x, but they need to be fundamentally different in the sense that they are different variables, they are made up of different variables, uh, or you know, one's a variable, one is not a variable, something like that. They cannot be terms that can combine, because if they are two like terms, for example, 3x and 5x, then they can combine to just make 8x, and that is not a binomial in that case. It's not two terms. It's really just one. So a binomial is made up of two terms that are not alike. So that is an important little caveat to the situation. So let's just say, for example, x and 5. Now it says that it, a binomial must be a sum or difference expression. So we could write x plus 5. That's a binomial. Or we could write x minus 5. That's also a binomial. But would x divided by 5 be a binomial? No. Because that doesn't fit the definition of what we're looking for. Not to mention that x divided by 5 could just be one-fifth x, and that's only a single term again. In the same vein as x times 5 would just be 5x, again, one term. The reason that a binomial must be sum or difference is because it must be two terms. It must be two things that cannot be put together. So another example of this would be, I don't know, 2x plus 8y, or maybe 3z minus 4q, whatever it might be. Any two things that are different, adding or subtracting. The one last thing I'm going to leave us with today is that oftentimes, whenever we're working mathematically, we see binomials in a set of parentheses. So a lot of times it's going to be written like this, because it will be in the interior of another expression or equation. That's not always the case, and it's important to be able to recognize a binomial even if we don't have parentheses, but oftentimes we try to group them, and we use these parentheses to denote that they are a, in a group together. A binomial in a set of parentheses can also be called a quantity. So if you hear someone talk about the quantity they are often referring to a binomial as well. You could call this the quantity x plus 5, or you could call it the binomial x plus 5. 
it's kind of up to, to personal interpretation. I typically use the term binomial the most. If you have any questions about what binomials are, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you about that. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.